2019 is a big year for Bentley as it marks the 100th anniversary of the crew brand. Earlier this year it marked the occasion by revealing the wild EXP 100 GT concept. So if that car was a birthday present to itself, then maybe this new flying spur is the party, but one for just only a very few well-heeled customers. Like the two modern day flying spurs before it, this is the entry level saloon in the Bentley lineup, sitting beneath the Mulsanne. Starting from £163,800, it will be taking on the Rolls Royce Ghost and a Mercedes Maybach S600. But Bentley reckons that this is the only car at this level that is both as exciting from the driver's seat as it is luxurious to be chauffeured in. From the outside, it certainly looks the part. Now, Bentley has made a couple of clever design tweaks to the new flying spur to make it stand out from the old one. For a start, they pushed the front axle forward to give it a more purposeful stance on the road, which also has an effect of lengthening the wheelbase to make it more spacious inside. The body panels are now from aluminium rather than steel, which makes these sharp creases all the more impressive. And now it rides on 21 inch wheels as standard, but you can also get 22 inch wheels too. These are the 21s. And the details don't end there. Just look at those headlights. Each LED matrix unit features a cut crystal interior, which with chrome backing makes them look like they sparkle even when they're off. In the back of the Flying Spur, it's just as plush and opulent as you would expect. Now, I'm not the tallest person, I'll admit, but there is absolutely acres of space in the back of here, and these seats themselves are absolutely lovely. They're heated, they're cooled, they massage you. And of course, all the materials are sublime. The wood veneers are immaculate, and all the switch gear feels chunky and solid. 10 whole cows are used to trim almost every surface and there's an endless range of colour and stitching options. If you just press a little button on here, it pops out to greet you and then you're able to control all different manner of entertainment and climate functions right from here. Now one of the really cool things that I want to show you is this flying bee, which allows you to remotely control the flying bee ornament on the bonnet. So you just press reveal or conceal and it goes up or down. Completely pointless, but good fun. You can even have it finished with 23 crystal feathers within the wings. And if any sneaky fingers try to prise the ornament from the bonnet, it instantly snaps back inside to safety. Now from the driver's seat, the Flying Spur looks pretty much the same as a Continental GT, except that this centre console is very slightly lower. But that's no bad thing that it looks similar because it just looks absolutely wonderful. The organ stop vents work with a wonderful oily precision. The driving select dial feels chunky and solid and is a beautiful knurled finish. And then there's what Bentley calls three-dimensional leather. A first for any production car, it just shows the attention of detail lavished upon every single surface. Now one of the absolute highlights of this cabin is this glorious rotating display. So you can either have it laid out like this where you've got a temperature gauge, a compass and a stopwatch for all the track days that you'll be doing in this. Or if you press this button you can have a 12.3 inch touchscreen display. Or if you want it completely uncluttered, you just switch the engine off and it rotates to reveal a wood trim which perfectly matches the rest of the dashboard. Out on the move, it's just as wonderful. Under the skin, it shares its platform with the Porsche Panamera, but this is a car that's tuned to be more relaxing, more refined, yet still exciting to drive. The change of platform means that, unlike the old model, the new flying spur is rear-wheel drive in normal driving, sending power to the front only when the slip detected from the back. An active anti-roll bar, combined with air suspension, keeps the car almost completely flat around bends, while a four-wheel steering system is designed to both improve agility and increase stability. In short, all of this tech makes the flying spur corner in a way which no 2.4-ton limousine has any right to do. It manages to deliver a beautifully smooth ride at the same time. From launch, there's just one engine to choose from, but what an engine it is. The 6-litre twin-turbocharged W12 unit makes 626 brake horsepower, 900 newton meters of torque, and enables the flying spur towards a 207 mile an hour top speed. It's quick off the mark too, accelerating from 0-62 miles an hour in 3.8 seconds. Later in the flying spur's life, there's likely to be a V8 model and even a plug-in hybrid. So then, the Bentley Flying Spur, a car which might possibly be the best all-rounder on sale today, just so long as you can afford that price. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel and leave your comments below.